Hello and welcome to CSU 30. This is lecture 14 and lesson 5. And in this particular lesson now I'm going to talk about testing the database interaction with Node.js and MySQL. Previously we looked at using PHP to query and do some work and we were able to show how we can and take the queries that we've written manually and embed them in code and do some manipulation in order to be and produce some nice outputs as well for our display. So really we want to do something similar now with Node.js and MySQL. Now Node.js is a different kind of architecture um, to PHP and PHP itself is a templating, you know, so we can actually produce a template and then we can embed the code in the template. Um, so with Node.js it's a little bit different, so we're going to try to build and make our app a bit more like like, like and and you would expect a Node.js app to run. So we're going to use a, a library called Express um, in this particular one. We'll do in a little bit more detail in 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 a, in a few lectures time, but I like it because um, it does all of that work to set up the HTTP servers for us and and allows us to be able to have the various routes. And so what we'll do now is we'll just create a route. And we talked about these seven in two lectures ago, um, just to show the customers and just to show the um, uh, the addresses and then do some work in terms of insertions and so forth. Um, in terms of producing the the, the, the tables um, and the HTML output for the table, we're going to actually use something called um, Jade, uh, which used to be called Pug. Okay, and that's a way to actually, uh, it works with Express and it allows us to build a template for, um, for a view. Um, and we did views, of course, when we did model view controllers and then um, and it's it's a nice thing to do, and it's called templating your views, really. And um, so here's a quick example of the kind of things that we will do and use within Node.js. Okay, so um, so this allows us to be able to create an app, okay, and um, that we run on a port, um, and it sits there using a HTTP, HTTP GET request for looks for slash customers, and what it does is just does a query on the customers, and then it renders a view with the data that comes back from the customers table via this query. So it's nice and clean and straightforward, and this then is um, how we want to actually lay out a table. So we say, you know, we're going to extend an existing layout for the overall page, and where this is a block content that we're going to insert, a div, a paragraph, we're going to bold a customer table, here's a table that has a header, these are the, the you know the, the headers that we know already and then for every item that we pass through up here to the rendering um, method um, we write out the various date. Now um, I have a little bit of manipulation of the dates to make it look a bit nicer okay in Node.js okay so that's it for most of the core activities to perform database um, uh, Exercises are going to be the same as we as we did with PHP, but we need to use that kind of Node.js backend style of programming in order to make it work. So what I'll do first to show you it working, and then I will we we'll dig into the code. But we need to do a couple of things first because remember last time we manipulated this table and we generate some extra um, data for Leela. So we want to get rid of this data and get back the way we were. So I need to delete this record. So I'm just going to copy this because uh, this particular piece of them. Um, Timestamp, I'm going to go to the SQL, I'm going to, I'm going to delete, and this is kind of handy, you know, so we we'll delete from the customer address. And we're going to, where it's equal to, and we go, yes, I really want to delete this, so it's good. Okay, and we just browse and ensure that we've just got Lucas's data here, which is fine. Okay, so now we go back and um, delete the customer information for, for Layla. Let's get rid of her details. So she's gone for the database, and now let's make sure Layla's address is gone. Yep, she's gone. Let's, she's still there, sorry. Now she's gone. Okay, so we're back the way we were at the beginning. So this is fine, and we have, um, now we want to do is be able to look at our, 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 app using Node.js. So this time um, we'll run the program here and it's a Node.js connect test rather than the PHP test and we have a quick look at the code. Okay, um, So this is the code, it's not too long, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, So I'm using Express um, and I'm, I needed to install that using npm install Express. Again I have my login credentials are separate to the actual program itself. I'm setting up a view engine called Jade and I, I, I did an npm install Jade as well. Now we're setting up this route to get the customers, select start from customer, setting up the addresses to get the address and I'm setting up um, 
uh, some some functions then just to get customers to get addresses get physical addresses all that stuff because um, I want to render multi-table views and that's a bit complex and um, you have to use middleware with Express in order to be able to do that so you can chain a whole bunch of these these um, things you'd like to be able to do so we'll we get cracking on that so let's run the program okay and it's all gonna run on port 3000 okay so we're setting sorry we're setting the server up running on 3000 okay and um, and we run this from the command line over here. Yeah. And we should get a message that tells us the customer address database app is listening on localhost 3000 now. Okay, so that's good. Let's go to Vivaldi and let's point to that. And we're going to look at customers table. And uh, you'll see that I have something here on the command line that's telling me the detail that for Lucas. And then I have a table that looks pretty much the same as we did last time. With our PHP, let's look at the address. And we can see the addresses, and it's as we were. You know, we have it working here. We're seeing the raw data, and we're also seeing the table. Now, it becomes a bit more complex if you want to do multiple, multiple uh, views um, simultaneously. So let's see what we did when we looked at the code. So the code we had to do this, um, we want to render uh, and look at a customer view when we've inserted a new customer. So here's a new customer and we're inserting. Uh, so what do we need to do? We need to, we need to, yeah, do all of this work here. Okay, so insert into a customer, create a new customer, and we're going to um, look at the various addresses and so forth. So here's the, here's the step. So for insertion, we want to get the customers, we want to get their addresses, we want to get their physical addresses, then we want to render the customers and their addresses after we after we um, we do, we do this. Okay. So I think that should be fine. So have I actually done any insertions in this particular one here? Nope, I haven't. But that, let's look at this first one because that, this is just a test to look at multiple tables to be sure that works. So we do that first. And we'll uh, we'll change the way insert works afterwards. Okay, so let's go up and look at insert. We're not actually inserting. We're just checking, I think. Okay, so yeah, so we have we have and we were able to reproduce the the, the kinds of tests that we did last time with with um, the PHP app. So now we'll just change that, okay, and make it work a little bit differently. And we'll chain to do actually to actually do some insertions. Okay, we'll probably just insert the address and see what happens. Can we get a second address? Um, Okay, let me do that. Let me go back to my code, and we comment out this one, and we'll use this particular one. And remember, I have all the, met the methods written already um, up here for various rendering. And we will then look at, what I've probably done is I've just generated a new custom. Ah, yes, I remember what I did here. i have inserting a new, um, uh, address, a new address, a new address for, for um, this particular person, and then we work from there. Okay, but let's let's um, let's go there. Restart our service. Kill this one over here, and just restart it. Okay, and let's see what happens now when we type insert. Okay, so yeah, I've inserted Leila. Okay, which is good. That worked. That's what we hope to do. And again, we were able to pull out and get the, the ID for, for Leila here as well. Now let's do it again. And we would hope that we'd get an error, okay? Because that's what we expect. Oh yeah, I'm getting an error, but I'm doing it silently. <laughs> um, yeah, if we go and look at the code and we'll see that I actually we will get an error. Nothing happens. It didn't create it. I just didn't actually, because here is the error. Okay, we need to put the error in here, and so you could have a, a, a something that comes to the output. So maybe we'll just do this here. Let's see if that works for us. Let's go back and start it again. Okay. Let's do our insertion thing. And we got an error, okay? Because we couldn't do it. Now we could elaborate and we could write and produce a new view and all that kind of stuff, but um, um, I decided not to do that this time. And of course, we're not seeing anything. 
because we had no rendering um, for that particular error, which we'd have to write a render function that sits in here as well and generate an, a render and an error page. And I think I've shown somewhere where you could do that um, in the app. Did I? No, I didn't, but anyway, we can do that fairly easily. It's not it's not too difficult. Oh yeah, here's an, an error page. Okay, so we can render an error as well. So there's an, an, error, an error view in Jade that will work as well. Okay, but really I suppose the point to note is that we can do all of the same things that we want um, with our um, with our Node.js than we could that, that we could do with our PHP. So it doesn't matter. There are different styles and structures of programs. Um, I know for your current assignment, you're not to use Express. I want you to build CRUD activity manually. But so you could you would have to manually write some code in order to be able to generate this kind of table um, directly in JavaScript rather than utilizing some template with Pug. But if you found a way of using Pug without using Express or some uh, some other templating method, then that would be okay too. Okay. So um, that's the end of the lecture, and this is the final lesson. We covered an awful lot of material, but um, in this time again, we looked at, um, uh, at uh, interacting with the database with Node.js and MySQL. We used a middleware approach. Actually, it's quite tricky to do if you haven't, if you haven't used this before, um, so don't worry if you don't understand it, but like, you can run the programs, and you can always contact me and ask me if you've got any questions. And as before, all of the code and all of the lesson data, all of the examples, I'll zip everything up and make it available for you so you can do your own practice. Um, thank you very much for watching.